Hi, this is David again. <laughs> and, uh, you know, here's, here's the comedy show <laughs> sponsored and acted out by the Mormon Church, the cult. Uh, I have to say <laughs> Mormon, 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 because their crawler is crawling through my videos, and when they hear the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, cult, 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 Mormon, 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 their computer <laughs> goes like this, and then it sells an ad to Google to put below my neck <laughs> and say, please, and I'm going to help them, I'm going to help them, go to mormon.org and look at the stupid people and the geeks that are there. If you... <laughs> <laughs> look at them than me <laughs> now we're not talking about beauty we're talking about intelligence and being informed go to mormon.org Mitt Romney Mitt Romney Mitt Romney <laughs> their computer is gonna go nuts anyway let me tell you let me show you more <laughs> more just BS exclusive liquor laws questions involve of LDS church <laughs> You know, you can't flush your toilet in Utah without some type of permission from the LDS Church. In Utah, we have the most strict liquor laws in the world. You have to go to a liquor store uh, to buy a, a bottle of wine for yourself. And of course, <laughs> there's, there's video cameras and people taking notes of your license plate. This is, now I'm exaggerating with the video cameras and the license plates, but when you go into the parking lot, all the Mormons look at you <laughs> as they go by. Go, See, he's an anti-Mormon. <laughs> he's buying liquor. The Mormon Church has been involved uh, in this liquor law stuff since Brigham Young. As I remember uh, my history, uh, I think the church... Uh, produced some alcohol, at least barley and some of the oats uh, that were used by the beer companies in the early settlement of the valley. Well, because the Mormon church believes that everyone in the world should act like them. You don't smoke, you don't drink, your penis is under their control, and your vagina is under their control. They're going to tell you what to think, where to think, how to think, and by God, they're going to tell you to wear certain underwear that reminds you <laughs> that they're reminding you. Well, they've been involved in the liquor laws of uh, Utah, and it's been a constant ongoing problem in Utah. And now that uh, there's a very close 50-50, 51 maybe percent still Mormon, uh, the non-members are basically saying, this is stupid stuff, and uh, we try to vote them out of office. It's still difficult. It'll be another 10 years or so. But anyway... Um, they allow um, some drinks over the counter, but there's rules on them. The, the, uh, the people can't see the bartender pouring the drinks, and you know, they have to be in the back room. Everything with the Mormons are secretive, secretive, secretive. Park City, which draws people from all over the world for skiing, is much more liberal because the ski people and their industry is very important to uh, the taxes of uh, Utah. They build our roads and uh, many other things. Well, the Mormons don't want you to drink, but damn, they want the money. They want the money that comes <laughs> from the liquor in those liquor stores because they're going to build more Mormon signs <laughs> along the freeway. And their wonderful campaign of uh, I'm a Mormon and I'm not weird. <laughs> go on to Mormon.org. Please go on <laughs> Look at the people that join the Mormon church. They're desperate, basically flawed individuals, or they're having some type of a difficulty in their life. They're young, they're impressionable, generally <laughs> not the sharpest tools in the shed, but they give their money. They give their money, and they want no accounting for it because the Mormon church is going to get me into the celestial kingdom. So here it is. <laughs> Let me, I have to put my glasses on and ruin my beauty again. I just wanted to get the, um, you can look it up here. Um, the, uh, the number is SB314. We're pretty convinced that the church had a pretty heavy hand in this legislation that was just passed, SB314 in Utah. Uh, can't prove it, but we're very confident that they did. And this is the hospitality uh, association that is suing uh, the Attorney General and uh, the state of Utah and they are convinced uh, that 
uh, that the Mormon Church has had uh, way, way too much uh, non-tax exempt 301, uh, 5013C involvement in the liquor laws of the United or of the state of Utah. Now, let me just leave you with this one quote. Okay. Um, it says here, according to this new complaint, now evidently this uh, hospitality association has sued before, but now there's a new uh, amended complaint that has uh, 20 additional pages to support the, uh, the filing of uh, the, the refiling of the lawsuit. According to this new complaint, which was filed just days ago, the LDS Church shouldn't be helping legislators craft liquor laws. Well, I like that word. I like the word witchcraft. It should be associated with this comedy central religion. Anyway, it says here, um, like when it says the legislators who wrote Utah's last big liquor law got, quote, approval from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It's just comedy. It's just comedy. They're going to control your penis. They're sexually repressed, and they want you sexually repressed. They don't drink. They don't have fun. Their temple ceremony says <clears throat> no <clears throat> um, light-mindedness. <laughs> this video is light-mindedness. It's a blast. <laughs> and no speaking of the Lord's anointed. Well, who's the Lord's anointed? Am I the Lord's anointed? I resigned. Did my anointing get re resigned with me? So anyway, I just wanted to, to show you, you know, because I know a lot of you uh, look at my videos from uh, other countries and you don't get to see this stuff here. But this is, uh, I think, the uh, Salt Lake Tribune. Oop, let me turn it right there. Okay, so you can see I'm not making this stuff up. I mean, I'm not this funny. I'm just not this funny. Tommy Monson, <laughs> the president of this cult, He's funny because he, he allows this crap to go on. And the world is laughing and laughing. And Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney. Oh, there goes their computer. And the Mormons, Mormons, Mormons. There goes the computer. <laughs> Jesus. There'll be ads all over this. And when you look at it, look under here. It's funny. The Mormons always place the ad by the slitting of the throat from the temple penalties. So anyway, I just wake up every morning, and I ju it's better than reading the newspaper. It is better to read the new policies and procedures of the Mormon Church. If you want to laugh at something and you want to know what it's going to be right or what it's going to be like when you, if you do, elect Mitt Romney, I think Mitt's probably a pretty decent guy. I don't have anything against his politics of conservatism. You know, I've been Republican, Democrat, I've been independent, but I've also been Mormon for 50 years, and I know what's inside of his head. It's taken me seven, eight years to unprogram from that cult to even have the, the strength and the, the fear gone that I can actually make a video and just express my opinion. Now, I'm getting a couple of comments. I'm, uh, I'm trying to think of his name. I'll give it to you some other time. Something Cypher. And he's made comments a couple of times on my videos. And I've just said, you know, tell me who your bishop is and you'll never be back on my comments again. You'll be gone. <laughs> you'll disappear like the golden plates. So anyway, um, he, I think, is an official church member uh, that looks for these kinds of things. Because he said, well, you're just paranoid because those ads are on your anti he calls it anti see anything that is the truth that doesn't agree with the fantasy of the mormon church is anti i'm not anti-mormon if you like that place and you want to pay your money to build a mall and and ignore poor little kids in third world countries i don't care i don't care mormon 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 <laughs> because the search engines of the mormon church and google they pick that up they pick it up i think this guy cipher is because he doesn't quit. He comes back and he says, I'm paranoid. We've been doing this for over a year. Now I'm shocked. I didn't know the Mormon church bought ads uh, uh, to put up against uh, videos that are not complimentary to them. I've never had a Catholic video or a Baptist or an Episcopalian because those people don't lie much. <laughs> 
when you are a compulsive liars and you dress up in suits and little dresses with flowers on them and you got the smile on your face and then you go home and you beat your kids you take your drugs you overeat and you declare bankruptcy what can be more comical than to have a president you know uh, I just can't understand why, again, the media is scared. The media is scared to pick up these kinds of video and this kind of information and say, Mitt, you weren't just a little member sitting in the audience of the Mormon church. You were a leader. You were a stake president. You were a bishop. And you didn't lead. You're a follower. You're not a leader. You're a follower of the prophet and the policies and procedures of the Mormon church. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that the Mormon church, like I said, you can't flush your toilet or buy uh, toilet paper in this state without the approval of the Mormon church. If it has to do with bodily functions, they're number one. Thanks.